So, well, there's been a question again from one of my viewers who wanted to know a little bit more um, about setting up a home lab for microscopy, for amateur or hobby microscopy. Well, first of all, again, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. And uh, the answer about uh, what's the best way of setting up a home lab is not so easy because, of course, different people interpret the hobby of microscopy differently. I mean, maybe you are interested in repairing microscopes. Well, in this case, of course, your home lab will look different, uh, maybe more like a, a workshop. Um, if you're more interested uh, in uh, preparing your own slides, then maybe it does look a little bit more like a lab and there's some safety issues that you have to worry about as well, especially about fumes forming. So you need a proper ventilation or at least a window that you can open. Um, yeah, and if you are simply interested in, in um, observing ready-made permanently mounted slides, you really don't need a lot at all. All you need is uh, some kind of a desk uh, where you have your microscope uh, and uh, whenever you want to look at some ready-made specimens, yeah, you just switch on the microscope. Um, so essentially, this could be the end of the video, of course, and that's not going to make you happy. So for this reason, um, I did spend a little bit of thinking, uh, time thinking, um, and I do want to give you some more basic general recommendations that you might uh, want to consider. And uh, one of the recommendations is, is, is that uh, the point of microscopy is, or not the point, of, one of the advantages of microscopy is, is that you can do this hobby in a relatively quick and a relatively un complicated way. So this means all you have to do is, is essentially switch on the microscope, put a slide under into the microscope and start observing. Actually, it takes less than a minute. Okay. And if you want to keep this advantage, then I recommend that the place where you do microscopy at home, um, that you have a dedicated place uh, where you actually have your microscopes already standing there um, and uh, where essentially yeah, you can simply sit down and start microscopy. So there should not be a need to carry around the microscope um, from a cupboard to your table and so on. So if you have a, a, a small corner somewhere that you can simply dedicate to, to microscopy, I think that's already 80% uh, of what maybe you ever need and what you want to have. Um, maybe even, I don't know, half of the table. <laughs> With the other half, that's where you do your work maybe, if you have any um, work to do. Um, and uh, the other half of the table, you simply dedicate uh, to microscopy and maybe a couple of drawers somewhere where you can keep your tools and um, your permanent slides. If you've got that, I would say then you're going to be fine in most of the cases. Um, if you want to actually do some specimen preparation, then of course the issues are a little bit more delicate because uh, then you might be working with stains and solvents. And then of course you have to be careful that those chemicals do not actually do damage to your furniture, to your clothing, to the floor, um, yeah, um, to your table and maybe the other things uh, that you've on your table, maybe like a laptop laptop computer or yeah, a desktop computer. So uh, all, all of this stuff is delicate. But if you kind of are able to kind of separate um, the liquids um, away from the delicate uh, things, then that's also already a big advantage. So that's actually already mentioned. The second point is the safety aspect. Um, and with that, I do not necessarily only mean safety concerning health, uh, your personal health, uh, but of course also you want to make sure that uh, the um, any spills that happen and spills will happen, uh, that they do not do any permanent damage to the other things that you have in your room. Um, so and for this reason, I recommend that uh, your home lab or the workspace rather um, maybe have a surface uh, like this one over here. This uh, is actually a kitchen um, a tabletop uh, that I bought uh, relatively cheaply in a hardware uh, shop um, and therefore it's, it's quite uh, quite resistant uh, so I can easily wipe it. Um, and if you don't have that, if you um, have a, a table with uh, nice natural wood maybe, then I actually highly recommend that you maybe put some kind of a, a plastic cover on top of it um, in case uh, so you spill something. Okay, so uh, that's uh, basically um, what I would say. Um, a second thing that I recommend, of course, some kind of a storage space um, for um, any substances, chemicals, tools. Um, if you have children, you definitely want to keep them um, away out of the reach of children. This is the reason why I actually moved all of my um, stuff now right here into the cellar. For those of you who have already subscribed to the channel, who have uh, been watching this channel for some time now, know actually that uh, this is uh, our surrounding here is now different. Um, I set it up a few weeks ago simply also because because I needed more space um, in my apartment upstairs and because I wanted to have um, yeah, all of the chemicals and all of the other things a little bit away um, from the living area. And so this means I can essentially also let the things stand around here and I don't have to worry that uh, something bad's going to happen. So I can be messier here, okay? And that is uh, the nice uh, thing and this allows me to 
yeah, uh, express my freedom uh, doing microscopy a little bit more because I don't have to worry about uh, yeah knocking things over because essentially I'm in the cellar here, can wipe up everything. There is no computer next uh, to the table here. Um, yeah, so I actually put up a green screen here in case you're wondering. It's not a monitor, it's a green screen. Um, so you see, um, I actually um, set up the, the place here um, also with the intention of making YouTube videos uh, and that is the way that I have interpreted uh, my hobby. Okay, um, others of you might have a different interpretations of the hobby and therefore your room or your work environment of course will look differently. Also of course uh, depends a lot on the amount of space uh, that you have available um, of course um, and uh, and other aspects. Okay, I think uh, these are just some, some basic um, ideas. Make sure everything's safe. Uh, make sure that you have a, um, a place uh, to lock away your chemicals and tools. Um, ideally have a place where you can actually keep the microscope standing so that you don't have to carry it around. Yeah, um, and of course you want to have maybe running water nearby. Um, I don't have running water here down here in the cellar. So what do I do is, is if I need water, I simply take along a glass jar and, and let it stand here. If I need uh, some water to make my, my slides, I'll simply use the water in the glass jar. So even here I'm fine. I don't have it here right now, but uh, um, I'll also have a container uh, for, uh, for collecting my, my used slides. So I simply had uh, yeah, a plastic container, just drop them in. And then when the container is full, the, yeah, the box is full, then I simply yeah, either throw the slides away, those that are not usable anymore, or I wash them. Um, but I'll do this once every couple of months. Um, yeah, so you see, Try it out. That's my advi um, uh, advice. Try it out what works for you. Um, and uh, yeah, and if you really want to get more inspirations, I recommend also that you maybe check out my forum, um, which basically there's a link uh, below. And uh, from the forum, there's also a place where people actually share pictures of, of their work environment and what you will see, the home lab, so to say. And what you will see is, is that the home labs, they vary very much, okay? Different people have really different, uh, yeah, ways and ideas of actually setting it up. Um, but uh, I think uh, we all share one thing in common, with the love for nature, the love for observation, science, and microscopy, of course. Wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time. Bye-bye.